up, what's up my kings and queens? I'm back y'all with another video. Today I am making a red velvet cake for a subscriber and he wants the red velvet cake, strawberry icing. I never made this, but this is a subscriber request and he had paid me to make this. I made a hand mixer, which I had one, but I'm gonna do mine like I do my regular cake. So I have two box of Real Vivid cake mix, which is in here. And that equal to six cups. Okay, I'm gonna add my instant lemon pudding. Uh, you double the portion. The box say three eggs. Let me explain to y'all. Whatever the box say, one cup of water or you can substitute for milk. So I got one cup of buttermilk. Um, three eggs to each box. So I have six eggs. That's how you do your multiply it. Uh, a half cup of vegetable oil. So that's one stick room temperature butter. butter. Then I'm gonna put one teaspoon of vanilla flavor and a half teaspoon of sour cream in my hands. So let's get started, y'all. I'm not good with box cakes. I'm not good at all, just be honest. So we're gonna start with the wet. I'm gonna do it like I normally make my own cakes. I'm not a box cake maker. I'm a homemade cake maker. So, y'all, let's pray this thing turn out good. I'm adding my butter. I'm gonna blend that together. Let me blend my butter. Now I'm gonna start adding my egg one at a time. We have two fill in there. Because it's on one stick of butter. Some more. Now the other egg. Do it one at a time. sour cream to it. Half a teaspoon of uh, sour cream. And this is my Jello instant pudding. And I'm going to add this in. I'm going to add the rest of my pudding. I'm gonna add me a teaspoon of another flavor. I add flavor even though it's a box cake. I'm okay. trying just clean the bowl, go around the bowl. Start adding my cake mix in here. Put it in two at a time. Then I'm add me some buttermilk. Right. 
and then some more flour. Cake flour, yeah, you know that. And two boxes equal to six cups of cake flour. Some more buttermilk. Okay. And some more buttermilk. Now I'm gonna add all my buttermilk and the rest of my cake flour. Now y'all do not have to do it this way, but this is my way. Cause I can't be doing no hand mixer. I will, but I don't like it. Go slow. Slow, slow, slow. I already have my oven preheated at 350. Let me spray my pans. And I'm doing a three layer. Now I'm going to scrape my bowl. One good spin. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to get the piece in the oven. Oh. All right. I'm doing three pans. Shake them. Shake them. Now, y'all, yeah, I'm putting them in a three hundred and fifty degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right, here we go. Two. Three. And work and put one at the top. I put two at the bottom and one at the top. Okay, y'all, my cake is out the oven, and they are cool. Well, they ain't all the way cool, but they've been out about 20 minutes. And I have two things of strawberry icing. This is what they require. 
and I have some cream cheese. And I'm gonna take the top. I'm gonna put the top at the bottom. And I'm gonna mash that down. And even though this cake down cool all the way, I am still finna icing it. And I'm putting the cream cheese in the middle of the cake. And I also have it on a turn. You see? And I got this at, I think I bought that at Michael's. I think for about $4. Something like that. And I'm gonna put some more cream cheese on here. I don't know how this cake gonna taste, but this is exactly what they wanted, so I'm getting what they asked for. Well, I don't think I would recommend it. Yes, I would. I should have got two cans, but that's okay. I'm gonna make what I have work. Now I'm just gonna put strawberry all the way around. Like I made that too big, yeah. Take one of the layers off. Yeah, one of these layers gonna have to come off. I really believe it. I had to take one of the layers off. That wasn't gonna work. Cake cover not big enough. Let's keep right on working, y'all. Don't let nothing stop you. No matter what it look like, okay? Let's keep pushing to what that problem is. Working for the time limit. And no, I am not a cake decorator. So, listen, don't talk about my cake. One more time. This is it. Okay. Come there. This is a red velvet strawberry cake from a subscriber. And which that subscriber is my grandfather. This is ready for him. It's ready for him. And that's it. 
and finish. So this is it. And um, I hope y'all enjoy spending a little time with me. Um, this is my second cake that I done made for two subscribers. And y'all done. And they got a three layer, just two on one. And they got And that's the way I have to serve it to them. This is how I have to go. That's how I have to go again. Because my cake cover wasn't big enough. And that's it, y'all. And he can lock it in when he get here. Until my next video, y'all. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe, and stay out of trouble. Until the next time. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friend, tell your cousin. And don't y'all talk about me. Love y'all. Bye.